all these um, yeah. stations for yeah, exercise. Yeah. If you wish, we can all. Yeah. yeah. Uh, after you, uh, thank you. Picnic area, and then there's a spring. They're currently at war with that country. Uh, no. No. Hi. Uh. It didn't put any water in there. A lot of forest, so sometimes if you don't have like a knife with you, you would have to jump over foliage. Foliage? Yeah, like ah, to cut it across. Yeah. Uh. That's the sound of quietness. Here in Baneluca, there is a canyon called Tiesno. Tiesno means tight, so it literally translates to tight canyon. And this canyon is actually a site or a venue for a climbing festival that happens every year. I don't know for how long they've been going on now, but it has gotten quite popular amongst the climbing community. And while I'm up here, I thought, why not sit? You know, I won't be able to make it into the festival next month, but I kind of want to check it out for future reference. Wow, this is nice. It's so remote. A lot of chickens. Have to be quite careful because it's now an off-road and my bicycle is not really fit for purpose on this type of terrain. So cool that the signpost here is very similar to the ones they have in Blagai as well as Sarajevo. Uh, wow, you have to be careful here. It's a huge drop. Where's the climbing spots? My goodness! I don't want to be the first one falling <laughs> on this viewpoint, so uh, we gotta be careful now. Especially with my slippers. <laughs> my very cheap slippers. I don't think it's gonna do well on scrambling. I mean, I've done very well on this. I've cycled with it, I've trekked with it. It hasn't really been an issue so far, but uh, still, it's not for trekking, so I have to be careful. What is this? <laughs> I guess I'm right on the top of a route. So where are you climbing from? Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, the drop is so scary. This is the amphitheater, I guess. And it looks like... I don't know, I'm not quite sure. Do you rappel from here? Or is this... It can't be an anchor. But it may well be, I don't know. 
Oh man, some people, eh? Can't take them anywhere. Wow, it's amazing. Man, I've been to so many places in this world. In terms of beauty, I would put this right on top of the list. The trek itself, it's not easy, it's challenging. And in terms of the view, oh man, look at this. Can't beat that. And also like the scale and magnitude of this thing, it's so huge. And as you can see there, so that's the river and the cars are very small. And that's actually where I started my climb because there's a um, campsite there and I turned to the right. Oh man, I've tricked so much today. <laughs> the view is so beautiful. It's not even sunset yet. And yeah, I enjoyed that. I mean, I could have waited for sunset, but the trouble is I have my bicycle and it's a long way down. I don't want to be cycling off-road in darkness. What I do want to see though are some of the climbing spots. Maybe I could check one of the walls. I miss the amphitheater. Amphitheater is supposed to be so good. So it's 5.30 now and I'm kind of hesitating whether I should go into this crag called Amphitheater because the approach is very steep down and obviously I'm not very good on going down I'd rather climb up than go down because it's a skid um, and I also had an injury before like while trekking downhill in Norway so I'm always cautious it's close by the looks of it but who knows it just keeps going on I started there right at the top of this hill I've been trekking down for about 15 minutes now and there's still no signs of the crag hopefully I'll get there soon uh oh so I just realized that I can't really go on any further than this because there's a huge drop and I need to claw myself here. I don't have my gears. It's a shame. It's probably not that bad, but I don't want to be one of those stupid guys who would try to be super adventurous without really knowing what the actual risk is. I mean, it's not too bad. I have the climbing skills to do that, but I don't know how far it's going to go on for like this. Yeah, it'll be so, so stupid for me to try even with my slippers like this. Anyway, I guess this is me. I can't see the amphitheater crag, but I would just look at it online, I guess. <laughs> it's better be safe than sorry, you know. That's always my motto, no matter what. And so, yeah, I'm gonna climb back up. Yeah, it was quite a walk down, but hey -ho, it is what it is. Ooh, Man, that was tiring. So unfortunately, I didn't manage to see this. Maybe next time. Mm -hmm. 